It's yeah. like every time I post, it just feels like, oh, this just don't feel like me anymore. Yeah, mm. yeah. So I'm like, I maybe it's time to pivot. And mm. that's what I've been saying. I've been sitting with that for like the last couple of weeks. So when y'all said it was gonna be coaching, I'm like, okay, cool, because I need this right yes. now. Like, look at which God. direction, yes. right? Like, I don't know how I want to mm. pivot. I was doing a lot of birthday shoots and maternity and pretty much yeah. taking a little bit of everything. Yeah. But I loved working with other entrepreneurs. Mm. And now I'm loving working with babies. Mm. Good idea. Now we buy merch. That's ghetto. Payment miss. Ooh, the ghetto. Say she quit. Ooh, the ghetto. Laid on your rent. Rent is ghetto. New event. Ooh, the ghetto. Invoice in. Yeah, that ain't ghetto. Money spin. Oh, that's ghetto. Hold on. It's kind of ghetto being a CEO. Welcome back to another episode of the Ghetto CEO Podcast, where we keep it 100% real on the behind the scenes of being a CEO. Y'all, being a CEO is giving very much ghetto, okay? But listen, we are telling you the raw and unfiltered truth today on this episode, all right? But I got a special, special session for y'all today, okay? We're going to call this like a hot take, okay? A coaching on demand. We are making sure that we are impacting entrepreneurs, not just telling y'all what's going on, but really bringing y'all in the studios and I'm bringing y'all my coaching friends that really can get y'all to the next level and bringing entrepreneurs to the studio so that you guys can ask questions and we can help y'all go to the next level. So I'm going to let this student, listen, we got a full studio today, okay? But the real star of the show is Miss Oakland here, okay? Girl, tell them, hey, tell them, look, look at that. Hey, what's up, <laughs> So y'all introduce, Q, you could go first. Y'all introduce yourselves, and um, we're going to get it popping. All right, hey guys, it's Q, and I do social media coaching, um, as well as helping women in the hair industry master their businesses, um, and I'm happy to be here. Yeah. Yes, and welcome Jordan. Hey, happy to be here. Yes. I'm Jordan. I'm a brand photographer in the Atlanta area, and I also coach. So I have an online program where I help beginner photographers elevate their skills. And we also got a restaurant in Marietta, Mr. Yes. Nice. Oh. Yes, I love it. Oakland, what you do, girl? Be <laughs> cute. Yes, the I'm star of, yes, the star of the show. I'm super excited, y'all. This episode is like crazy, right? Cause so me and Q was sitting on the couch mm. and we was like, let's coach somebody right yeah. quick. Like, let's do it. Instead of just going live, I posted yep. on my page, I was like, who can get here to the studio in 30 minutes? 30 and minutes. Jordan said, I'm pulling up me and baby in R. <laughs> Changing and my baby diaper. Period. <laughs> I'm on the phone. Like, I am coming. Period. So I am super excited about this. So Jordan, you told us a little bit about your mm-hmm. business, but tell us a little bit about the challenges that you're having, and we're just going to dive in. Yeah. So I am clearly a new mom. My girl is seven months. Yes. And it's been challenging getting back to work. Mm. So I had a thriving business. Prior to becoming a mom, it, it be, I found out I was pregnant in January of 2022. Okay. And I was in the midst of taking a break because I was just doing a lot mm-hmm. and work and trying to go hard and watching your stuff on social media. Yes. I was in one of your classes and I was trying to post three times a day. Yes, and yes. I just couldn't maintain it anymore. And I found mm-hmm. out I was pregnant. So it all made sense mm-hmm. why. Um, and so I took a long break from social media and I just been having a hard time getting back into the flow of it and getting mm-hmm. my picking my business back up. Mm-hmm. I'm feeling like... There's some changes that need to come, but yeah. just recognizing what those are and how to take those next steps. I love it. So I know it's some new moms out here that's like, yes, girl, yes, girl. <laughs> that's so cute. What would you tell Jordy? Um, I would say obviously give yourself grace. Mm-hmm. I feel like it's easy for you to be mad at yourself or hard on yourself, not mad, but hard on yourself mm-hmm. because you're a new mom and you have this new responsibility. So it's like, how do I run the business and have this baby who is a business all of herself? Yes. But I would just say give yourself grace in this moment too, but also make a game plan for yeah. when you want to get back. Maybe set a due date. Like yeah. I like to set dates for when I want to get things done. Mm-hmm. So maybe you just have a date like, okay, by this date, I want to get this accomplished. Okay. Yes, I love it. So are you crazy? currently posting online like have you came back or you like i'm pre-back i'm kind of like i'm like trying to back like i keep trying to come back (laughs) but i ain't really fully made that commitment coming back it's like every time i post it just feels like oh this just don't feel like me anymore yeah Mm. yeah so i'm like maybe it's time to pivot and Mm. that's what i've been saying i've been sitting with that for like the last couple weeks so when y'all said it was gonna be coaching i'm like okay cool because i need this right now like look at which direction right like i don't know how i want to pivot i was doing a lot of birthday shoots and maternity (laughs) and pretty much taking a little bit of everything 
Yeah. But I loved working with other entrepreneurs. Mm. And now I'm loving working with babies. Mm. So I'm like, I don't know. Like, if I want to work with them past one. But, <laughs> <Right>. like, <laughs> maybe, like, in this toddler stage, I've been doing monthly photo shoots for her. And that's been yeah. a lot of fun for me. Yeah. And I'm just trying to figure out which way is going to be the right way. So what? Because it, it's that, to me, it sounds like you are, you're this new mom, mm -hmm. right? How old are you? I'm 28. Okay. I'll be 29 next uh, month. Okay, girl. I just turned 29. Too. So you're this new mom. And, and because of your age, I know the season that you're in. Mm -hmm. And if it sounds like mm -hmm. you're trying to go back to the old you. Yeah. Mm -hmm. Jordan 1.0, but okay. Jordan 2.0 is ready to it's turn ready. up and turn out. Yeah. So what does that look like? Like when you really think about and sit back and think, okay, Jordan 2.0. Like what's mm -hmm. next? What do I love? What's my new passions? What, mm -hmm. what does that look like for you? Because you got a whole new responsibility now. Yeah, I love being a mom. Mm. I love being a mom. And that's why I'm like, okay, I kind of think I need to take this new turn into working with babies yeah. and even birth. So I had a home birth. <laughs> oh, wow. Yeah. And so that was like the most beautiful experience. Oh, wow. And to be able to capture that for other moms yeah. is something that's like, okay, mm. maybe maybe that's what it is. Like ah! mommy photography. Mm -hmm. Okay. All things okay. surrounded about around being a new mom. Yeah, because I'm just yes. at the beginning of my children journey. We only got one right here. Yes, how many kids you want? I would like if I could have like five. I probably oh. would, but <laughs> that's me. That is me. I don't think I'm gonna bring it that far. Listen, <laughs> I think I'm gonna do like three. Yes, it'd be like okay, it's yeah. enough. It's I enough. have five, four other sisters, so there's five okay. girls. Mm. So I love just having being around big all my family. sisters and having yeah. a big family. Mm -hmm. Yeah. Mm -hmm. So, and it sounds like, you know, like you said, you want to tap into this this new era, right? <laughs> this new era of um, talking to more moms and being yeah. able to record more babies mm -hmm. and being able to develop that story. So, talk a little bit about how that would look for you if you pivoted like that. So, I've been thinking about <laughs> doing some different packages where maybe... Like, I'm doing monthly photo shoots for her. So maybe it was a package where I do from newborn to one year. Mm. Different milestones. Mm. So maybe every three months or even, to, you know, yeah. every every month for some people, just depending on, on what people can commit to, something mm -hmm. like that. Yeah. What would you say, Q? I definitely like the milestones because when I, anytime I release anything, mm -hmm. I try to focus on what's going on in the current climate or mm -hmm. the holidays. So mm -hmm. I definitely think playing into the milestones is a good idea. Yeah. Um, and then just looking at your Instagram, I feel like you need a lot of problem solving content. So whenever you do decide to release this, you have to make sure that it's clear mm -hmm. to your target audience what it is that you're going to solve for them. So if it's for mommies, like I would say, you know, I want to capture your special moments. These are the biggest yeah. moments in your kids' lives yes. and I want to capture it. It happens so fast. Yes. yes. And you yes. need memory. So yeah. I would probably push that in my marketing. Memories. Like, this is for your memories as a mom. Mm -hmm. And I love even if you start before that, right? Because mm -hmm. maybe you have a package that starts from maternity shoe mm -hmm. yeah. to the home birth to now. You know, because it's that consistent thing. Because mm -hmm. as a mom, probably when you first had that baby, you're not trying to like find a photographer right. and all of that. Right. But if I could have had this consist this thing planned out, mm -hmm. then I'm ready to go, right? Mm -hmm. And then you can also market it as, you know, like I am the solution yes. to you being able to capture your kids' moments, mm -hmm. but never forget what's happening you know what i'm like saying that. and that's yeah. a guaranteed like client that. yeah that's a guarantee every time birthday birthdays yes. <laughs> yes come on down yes. come on down and the mm -hmm. things we wouldn't do for our kids <laughs> nothing you know it doesn't like and i'm just thinking about like the the pack like people don't care how much no. they spend mm -hmm. on their kids mm -hmm. like they're going to make sure that they have everything so yeah. all right so now if this is the pivot if this is the fit, why it feel a little scary in the building? It's supposed to. Like, yeah. It, it feels a little this scary. Is, like it's supposed this. to. If it was yeah. easy, everyone would be doing it. Yeah. yeah. It, it, and I always say if it's not big enough, then it's not going to scare us, mm -hmm. right? Mm -hmm. And so a lot of times we like being comfortable, but mm -hmm. God is trying to move you. And a lot mm -hmm. of times when he's trying to move you, everything you used to do, mm -hmm. it don't work no yes. more. Nothing yeah. is working anymore. <laughs> no. I'm tired the of it The door is like closed, 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 closed. Yeah. Close, yeah. Close. Yeah. Yes. Mm -hmm. yes. And so what, and you, do you feel like in your stomach, like this is it? 
I feel like this is what I'm supposed to be doing. Mm. I've had this conversation. I talked to my therapist months ago, and she was like, you need to call your midwife and ask her, can you come and do yeah. some shoots with her? Yes. And I got a little discouraged because I reached out to my midwife, mm. and she didn't respond, but I know she's busy. She has yes, a lot yes. going on. And then she responded to me last week and was like, I'm going to be calling you. Yeah. And yeah. I was like, okay, yeah, because I really am supposed to be doing yes, this. Yeah. Yes. And even think because I'm also thinking – school shoots like Everything. and daycares like oh my gosh you mm-hmm. remember um y'all remember when we used to be in school and we get them little packages yeah well, and the parents would be like i want all of them yep. i want the wallet mm-hmm. size mm-hmm. the this the that the mm-hmm. that imagine that being you but you actually care mm-hmm. that ain't care about how we looked at it we <laughs> yeah. had, no. I, I was crossed you know all kind of stuff with the kids looking photos. crazy yes but you actually care but it's also um and there's also a community be of uh, um in Atlanta of um homeschool kids mm. and I literally literally just seen it on Instagram there is a whole community wow. of homeschool kids they probably don't they, they probably need pictures don't. they need pictures yes, yes. Yeah. wow I like that because I want to <laughs> do homeschool anyway so that's the community Ooh. I need to be in that's your target you know, like, that's the target this is where we this is our yes this is our tribe Oakley yeah what you think she like, yeah. You're not talking to that. <laughs> she like, no, baby, baby not. <laughs> but no, I definitely think that being able to tap into that, but mm-hmm. let's talk about action items. Okay. Cause we gotta set dates. Yes, we I gotta love set dates. You know, we we ain't gonna let you leave without like, okay, mm-hmm. this is what's happening. So cute. How would you tell her to start like posting? You know what, what should she be posting? I feel like the first thing though, before we get to posting, uh-huh. is I want you to write down all of your limiting beliefs, mm-hmm. all of your fears. I need you to write it all down and crumple <laughs> it up and throw it away. Yes. Mm-hmm. That's the first thing. Mm-hmm. But I think we start just focusing on consistency. So mm-hmm. obviously posting behind the scenes, people love the process. Mm-hmm. So if I can see your process, I understand your why of mm-hmm. what you do. I'm mm-hmm. more inclined to buy from you. So I will start posting more of your process. Okay. Yes. Okay. So let's go take a step back to the limited beliefs. Mm-hmm. So I need you to say them out loud. Cause you, you gonna walk, Ooh, on you, the spot. On the spot. Cause you're going to walk out this room and it's going to stay up in here. Yeah. Let it go. So what, what are those limited beliefs that's holding you back from Miss Pippi? I don't know. I just, I'm struggling with this concept of being like a mom who (laughs) is even successful, like Mm. being a mom who can do it all. Like, Mm. can I be there for my daughter and still be, (laughs) goodness. She said yes. 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 She said yes. I can do it all, huh? I can be there with you and watch her grow up and still, you know, be me. Mm. Yeah. Um, that's definitely a big one. I think you should say you can right now. I can. <laughs> you can. I can show up for my daughter and mm-hmm. I can be a boss. Mm-hmm. <laughs> yes. Um I don't I'm trying to think. I feel like I don't know. I get in my own head and I start to talk myself out of things. Yes. Mm-hmm. Uh, that anxiety mm-hmm. of like what if and you know Feeling like I need my previous clients in order yeah. to be successful, like mm. with it. Like, am I actually going to have success in this new thing? Are people mm-hmm. going to want to shoot with me? Um, but people will. They will. Yeah. Yes. If you believe it, it'll happen. Yes. Are you a nonprofit or are you preparing to start one? Listen, I got the best nonprofit consultant and I know her personally. And I know she a goat in this industry. Anybody that you have even known in nonprofit, I know that they know Kimberly O'Neill over there at Carl Studio, okay? And they are having a conference August 31st where they are actually showing nonprofits how to get more funding, how to be able to run this business and really turn this nonprofit into Empower. Now, listen, I need you to be at this conference if you know anybody with a nonprofit, they need to be in this room. So, Dallas, Texas, August 31st, you need to be in this building, right? But she's doing something super special for the Ghetto CEO podcast listeners. And this is what I need you guys to do. Go to the website and type in Ghetto CEO and you're going to get $200. Yes, I said $200 off of your ticket. And guess what, y'all? I'm going to be there. So I want to see you guys there. So listen, once again, type in Ghetto CEO so you can get $200 off your ticket for the conference. Now back to the episode. 
And I think it goes back to a lot of times we can't move because we don't have confidence in what we're doing. And yes. Confidence literally is more than us with our words. It exudes off of us. Mm-hmm. And if we're not walking, when we go into conversations, if we're not talking with confidence, yeah. if we're not walking with confidence, then we're not going to be able to close the client, right? Mm-hmm. But not only do we have to have confidence, we have to have clarity. Mm-hmm. Yes. Because you can't move. Like, you're like, okay, girl. Because when you have clarity, you'll do anything. Yes. You know what I'm saying? Yes. You're like, okay, girl, you want me to shoot your car <laughs> you know what I'm saying? <laughs> okay girl yeah. i can do that you know what i'm saying but then you get there and it's not fulfilling it doesn't feel yeah. good you like man i took time away from my daughter for this right mm-hmm. you know what i'm saying like i didn't have to do this right and so having that confidence but also having that clarity to say you know this is what i want to do and yeah. i gotta go all in on mm-hmm. that mm-hmm. Yeah. how does it feel it feels scary but mm-hmm. i i agree and I have to remind myself that myself that I've made bigger pivots than this. Yes. I used to be in corporate, and so I quit my job, mm-hmm. risked it all, moved here, didn't have nothing. Yeah. yeah. And so, what's the what's that. so scary about this? Is it because you're thinking about Oakland? I think so. Yeah. It's like I have her to support now. Yeah. And before it was just <laughs> me out here doing whatever, trying whatever. Yeah. I've tried so many things, and I. It's, this new role has me a little shaken up in myself. Yeah. <laughs> that is yeah. transferring into everything else. Everything else, else. yeah. Mm-hmm. But look at your daughter. She's thriving. She's <laughs> thriving. So first of all, mom, you're doing it, okay? Mm-hmm. My girl got her bow on. <laughs> she got nice clothes on. She looks fed. <laughs> she is happy. So at the end of the day, you are, mm-hmm. everything that, that's stopping you is because of you. Mm-hmm. Like, it's not Oakley I ain't saying mm-hmm. nothing about you not, you know what I'm saying? Mm-hmm. And sometimes I think that we stop ourselves mm-hmm. not even just in my momhood or mm-hmm. like parenthood it's just like we just be in our head mm-hmm. like mm-hmm. talking to like who said that mm-hmm. you know what i'm saying and so now that you're like okay it does feel scary because it, it's supposed to be right? right like when you step into your season when you step into your purpose mm-hmm. when you really step into your next level if it wasn't scary everybody be doing yeah. it so it's supposed to be scary now it's like all right what action steps do i have to take so i could keep being consistent mm-hmm. yes and because people People ask me all the time, girl, how do you stay motivated? Right. You went through this. I was like, girl, I don't stay motivated. I stay consistent. Mm-hmm. You know what I'm saying? Because motivation is fleeting. Yeah. You know what I'm saying? You don't always wake up every day motivated. Mm-hmm. But I can wake up every day and put two feet on the ground mm-hmm. and can make sure that I'm walking. So let's talk about some action items of what you can do to make this happen in the next six months. Mm. Okay. Cute. Ooh. <laughs> <laughs> I was going to say just along with consistency is that discipline. Mm. So for me, I had to set a schedule. So I quit my nine to five as well. And I had to literally say, I'm waking up at six 30 or seven every day. I'm working at these times. So set timers, you have a baby. So it might be yeah. a little bit different, mm-hmm. but definitely try to incorporate as much discipline as possible and just set aside time to map out plans, mm-hmm. business plans, business ideas, maybe meet with friends and mm-hmm. just really map it out. Yeah. Discipline school. A big one for me. Because mm-hmm. I'm grateful because I have support with yeah. her throughout the day. So I have a set hours each day Just that to I yourself. Can have mm-hmm. to myself. Mm-hmm. And so I know that I haven't been using them. Yeah. The way but I you're a new mom. <laughs> yes, I'm a new mom. I so how many mom. hours a day do you normally have? Usually six. So okay. we, a nanny comes from 10 to 4. Period. Ooh. Okay. So I know. I know it's me. I'm so <laughs> like, it's me. It's me. I know. I know. Yeah. So okay. I have an any daily from 10 wow. to 4. Okay. And during that time, I pretty much can do anything. Anything. And I wake up early because she's up at 7. Mm-hmm. Okay. And so I try to make it to Pilates by 7. Okay. So I try to get out and work out mm-hmm. and then come home and keep myself going. That. Yeah. I recently started Pilates because I'm trying to create that discipline in myself. Mm-hmm. And I know it starts with. Health. Having mm-hmm. some kind of exercise, mm-hmm. yeah. I love that. So now we got from 10 to 4. <laughs> from 10 to 4. We got, we got to time. Do. Yeah. Right? We got time. All right. So now the first thing is, you know, we have to <laughs> increase our visibility, right? Mm. Like, so we got to have something to put out there to attract the clients that we want. Yes. Um, but before that, we need to define our transformation. Mm-hmm. 
Yep. Define what it is that you want to do, right? Because you'll go into this and you're like, okay. But then people will come to you and you'll start, okay, I could I could take baby pictures. I could take mm-hmm. this. I could take your mm-hmm. 17-year-old picture. I could, like, it'll just be, I could do it all, right? But, like, having a clear transformation, like, mm-hmm. I... I am here to help moms make it easier to capture the moments of life you'll never get back or whatever, yes. right? Like yes. whatever that transformation is, writing that down, go on chat GPT. Uh, I'm using chat GPT. Okay. My best friend. Listen, let it write it out for you. You tweak it a little bit, right? Write that down and then create the experiences that align yeah. with that. And then it's like, all right, how do we create this million dollar offer? Maybe you even start with one offer. You Mm -hmm. know what I'm saying? Creating this million dollar offer that's like, all right, this is what I'm selling. Mm -hmm. And then now I need to attract the client so that I can be able to do that. And so now we just need to increase visibility by posting. So do you already have content and stuff with Oakland? I have some. I have a lot of like mother daughter content, which pulls on the heartstrings. Yes. Yes. Still with memories. Yes. Um, so I have a lot of that. We did her seven month photos and we got some BTS of that. Okay. And I have some, I've been doing her monthly photos. So I have, okay. she's seven months. Oh. So I have one through newborn through seven months through seven. Okay. already. Um, and I have a couple close friends who recently had babies as well. So <gasps> I could pull their babies together and do a couple <laughs> yes. pictures. And, oh my gosh. Yeah. Yes. No, this would be perfect. And so now we post it. We yes. post it consistently. Mm-hmm. We try to do that three times a day. Mm-hmm. But also like you said, um, value based content, yeah, solution and also mm-hmm. problem solving content. Yeah, mm-hmm. so I like to do four pillars of content. So I'll do okay. solution based, inspiration based, educational, um, and then here and there I'll do like a little bit of like motivational as well. Mm-hmm. Um, and I just like to tell my story as well as solving problems because if you can show them how you've done something, mm-hmm. then I'm more likely to believe you. Mm-hmm. I love that. And so now you, you're highlighting the solution on social media, right? Mm-hmm. I think even talking about your journey as a mom, mm-hmm. because one thing I do have a rule, like a lot of our content that works really, really real is not even like the content that we have this 80% lifestyle. So we have a rule, 80% lifestyle, 20% um selling or mm-hmm. um educational base right mm-hmm. and so you just being around with oakland or you just yeah. you know because now people are like oh she's a mom yep. and then now other moms are finding you mm-hmm. right and then they like oh i need pictures yes and i'm getting pictures and content and memories from a mom that understands yes. okay question okay because we got a couple vi- i made a personal page yes a while ago and i was like i'm just gonna be me over here if people find me then cool Okay. But it turned into her. It's, her me, it's me and her. Yeah. And it's I, we have a couple videos that have done really, really well. Mm-hmm. So I do I just start to do that on my So my I page? my and I'm gonna let you answer too. Mm-hmm. My um opinion is that you should only have one page. You are your brand. You know what I'm saying? Yeah. So I would pick wherever the people are that would attract to this new offer. Lean into that page, you know mm-hmm. what I'm saying, and then just post and go all in on that page. Mm-hmm. But I'm gonna give a link. Yeah. So I've only ever had one page too, mm-hmm. and then being able to see that person side, like mm-hmm. I'm a human being, mm-hmm. I'm not just a business owner. I'm not right. just trying to sell you. It works. Right. It works. And and the reason I had it was just to like quietly be myself. But a yes. video went viral on accident. I didn't even yeah. know. <laughs> I was just thought I was now look at you like, outside. <laughs> Oakley, y'all is outside now. Right. Right. Y'all, y'all influencers. Okay. No, but like whatever page it is. So mm-hmm. if it's your personal page or your business mm-hmm. page, like I will lead into that. Okay. Post the the regular your business content, the pictures yeah. and stuff, but also the videos of you, <laughs> Oakley, you being a mom, mm-hmm. you being with your you heard father, like mm-hmm. all of that kind of stuff. Like you opening this new restaurant, like mm-hmm. all of that kind of mm-hmm. stuff can go on this page because people are now falling in love with Jordan. Mm-hmm. Yes. And by the byproduct of that is be support your business. Yep. Include the restaurant too. Yeah, all, all, of, of, it. It. Okay. all of it. I mean, the restaurant yeah. has its own thing. It's my, it's my his restaurant. Okay. Mm-hmm. I mean, we're family, so. Yes. Um. Okay. We we gonna start including the restaurant there too. Yes, and mm-hmm. it doesn't have to be like a picture of the plate. But it could be like, okay, behind the scenes, y'all, this is me getting a day in the life. Yes. A day in the life, right? Yes. Because like, okay. they want to, they like, girl, Jordan doing this yeah. and this and this, you okay. know. But they can see, because the same thing, like I've said, 
that content is attracting other moms. Yes. Mm-hmm. So yeah. it's like, oh, she's a boss mob. I want to follow her. Okay. Yeah. If she you could do it, saying? I could do it. If mm-hmm. she could do it, I could do it. Mm-hmm. And now that she could do it, let me pay her so she can take these pictures. <laughs> <laughs> yes, that's what we want. Yes. So was this helpful? Yes. What other I, questions you had? I you feel like it gave me a little okay, a little confidence boost. You know, yeah. sometimes it's like you feel it, but you like mm-hmm. scared, so you yeah. kind of need somebody else to tell you to do it. Yes, yes. <laughs> and this is yes. just happening. Confirmation, yeah. confirmation. So we need a date. And today is what's today's date, y'all? The fifteenth, May fifteenth, mm-hmm. May mm-hmm. twenty twenty three. When are we going to have this executed and launched? <laughs> okay, so when we say executed and launched, my website, I'm already currently rebranding. Okay. So this is perfect. Okay, perfect. But when we say executed, what do we mean? Like, we anna- do we announce it? Like, yes, how does we go? need a rollout. When can we, we book? <laughs> yes, like, when can we buy? <laughs> okay. Okay. What you think, Oakland? I'm thinking, like... <laughs> I'm I'm a quick person. I like to move fast. Yeah. I'm thinking like no later than the first week of June. I love it. Wow. The first week of June. Tell I feel them like tell them about your new offer. Ooh, <laughs> the packages are already created yeah. because I have a couple moms who I told on the slide, but yeah. I was like I'm not sure yet. So, but what's what's the what's the first week of June? That first Monday or something? Mm-hmm. What's I it like June first? June. June? Mm-hmm. It's like June fifth. June fifth. I think my birthday is the sixth. Yeah. Okay, June, June 5th. 5th. All right, June 5th. We're going to be offering mom services, infant Ooh. services. We're yes. going to start with the infant milestones. Yes. Okay. So we're going to do whether you it's every month or every three months. Yes. Or you just want to do a six month shot, a six month in a one year. Mm-hmm. We're going to start there. Yes. That's what I love it, y'all. Listen, <laughs> this was good. I cannot yes. wait. We're going to have a, you got to go live June 5th, launch your, yes. launch your new services, and we're going to be there with bells on yes. there. We're we going to be excited. We got, go live on Instagram? Yeah. Oh, yeah. Okay. <laughs> I got to make sure we have a stand yeah, yeah. Not just the website, no, y'all, no, no. that live. We're going to live on live. Instagram. Okay. So for both the services, <laughs> let everybody know. So, y'all, make sure you watch this. Tune in June 5th, okay? June 5th. So, because she going to be dropping it. Okay, listen, thank y'all for tuning in to another episode of the Ghetto CEO Podcast. This was amazing. We calling this a hot take, okay, (laughs) because listen, we just had a breakthrough on this couch. Now, listen, if you want a breakthrough like this, you know, maybe, you know, put some in the comments. Maybe we'll know if we should do this again, okay? But make sure you leave a review and go to the website and shop your Ghetto CEO merch, okay? And I will see you guys in the next episode. Ghetto. Money spin. Oh, that's ghetto.